welcome to another episode. In this episode, we're going to talk about the 302 winter that hasn't been started in 12 years. We've uh, been pretty busy with manufacturing at the moment, and of course, with the current climate, with this illness going around, we hope that you stay safe with your family, and I uh, hope this is of interest to you guys. So, again, we've got the 302 winter. It came from a 70s Mustang, and it hasn't run for 12 years. We've put it on our engine test stands, and she's come up an absolute treat. What we've done is we've painted the motor here blue. Of course, we've got our Sting Red frame. And I just thought I'll talk to you a little bit about the motor and what we've done. I know I touched on it previously, but we've done a few more things to get it fired up. First go. Come around here. So, we've got pacemaker extractors there, which I'm sure are gonna make the engine sound really, really good. New leads just for insurance, new spark plugs. This is a very standard motor. As far as I know, it just came from a standard Mustang, so I think that the cam is standard. Um, but what we've done is we've just done the little bits and pieces. It doesn't cost a lot of money to change spark plugs, so what we've done is we've just taken a trip down to Burson's and just replaced everything that we can. We've got a two barrel auto light carby here, and what we've done is we've just got a gasket kit from Hume Performance and we've just replaced it and hopefully she, she works all right. Uh, just a cheapy aluminium radiator. I mean, we're not going to run this thing all day, so basically something off eBay will suffice. If you look around here closely, what you'll see is that we've put a spacer in the form of a bolt just over here. And what we've done is we've spaced it out to ensure that you can open, open the uh, the, the lid just over here so it doesn't actually bang against the RHS. Uh, trying to think what else uh, we've done guys. Obviously topped up the coolant, replaced the oil, just general necessary servicing bits and pieces that you'll do with a normal engine. We have no idea how many k's this, this engine's done. Um, we don't know whether it actually needs a re rebuild but when we received the engine it turned over nicely we checked over a few things, we took off the rocket cover and just had a look there, no big deal. When we set up this motor, what we did was we moved the telescoping pipe up and down just to suit and we made sure that we allowed enough space between our three core radiator and our fan. Everything on this particular stand is adjustable, so it's just a matter of just figuring out what's best suited to your application. Let's talk a little bit about motors. It's a 302 Windsor, which we know. Obviously we have Windsor and, and Cleveland. I'm not a Ford expert, but we do know that Clevelands have bigger heads. They breathe a lot easier, and thus they're favored. Here we have a 302 Windsor. It's a little baby motor. We think it's probably been taken care of in its past. When we opened up the sump, we didn't see any jelly-like oil. Mate, the engine, I think it's going to be phenomenal. What, what we also did um, was we picked up an automatic bell housing from a C4. Bell housings sometimes are a little bit hard to find, but if you know where to look, you can get them for relatively cheap. This one here costs us 50 bucks. Let's see where the fuel gets in the carby. Yep, plenty of fuel. All right, let's stand back and start her up. Well, there's no auxiliary <laughs> the thermo fans or anything, so we won't worry about that. Our accelerator's all connected up. Fingers crossed that she starts. Here we go.
temp's a bit high, I don't think it's the right sender, so we'd have to change that over. But oil pressure is good. running I can't believe it 12 years it hasn't run and there's no smoke blowing out or anything like that I mean this is a good motor here might might not make the most power but we're not chasing that it's just phenomenal that you can just start it up and you can work on it whenever you need to can't believe it 12 years as you've seen we've just uh, given it a, a bit of a rev and um, look she's performed remarkably well after 12 years however there always is something that you need to fix I mean with cars you guys know that there's always the next thing your projects never finished we can see over here that I think our water pumps on the way out the seal here needs to be replaced and you can see some coolant but hey it's not too bad after 12 years you know for this engine just to start up basically first go